in today's video, I go to three Goodwill stores. But at the end of this video, I put in a bonus section where I go to a garage sale and I pick up some items that I'm going to make some really nice money on. So you don't want to miss that. Okay, well, let's get the video started. It's going to be a good one. I walked in the store, I got my cart, and right away I saw this set of cookie cutter Christmas ornaments. They're by Hallmark. They were asking $3.99 each for them, and online they go for around $15 each. These are a set that they put out one a year, and the whole set sells online for like $70, $80. So I think this is a pretty good buy. A few hours later, I saw this ceramic music box. It plays How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? How much is that doggy in the window? <laughs> it was made by this company, Adagiri. They were asking $3.99 for it. And on eBay, they go for around $20. Well, the next thing I ran into was this monkey head. Well, it turns out that it's a nebulizer or aero mister for kids. It's made by Medline. They wanted $7.99 for it. And online, they go for just about $50. I came over to their plush section to see what they had over here. But there was nothing for me, so I decided to head to their back room and see what they had there. They had just reopened this back room and they filled it up with mostly furniture. But I did manage to see this tripod. It's used for filming with your phone. They wanted $7.99 for it, and they sell for 40 on eBay, but that didn't matter to me, because I was keeping this for myself. Well, there wasn't much left to see in the back of the store, and I had already searched the front of the store, so I figured it was time to head to the next store. When I get to the next store today, I find some pretty interesting stuff, including these two Muppet action figures, and I think I'm going to sell them for pretty decent money, plus this Elvis statue, and that should also go for pretty nice money. Okay, well, we're wasting time. Let's get going. When I got to this store, I decided to start my search on their toy aisle, where I saw this toddler learning game. It was called Cactus Garden. It was brand new in a box. They only wanted $4.99 for it. And on eBay, they're going for around $20 to $25. I continued to walk around the toy section when I saw this Muppet character action figure set. It was Gonzo and Rizzo. And now it's time for Gonzo and Rizzo's Incredible Discovery! Goodwill had it priced at $5.99. This was a limited edition set, and online, they go for $40. As soon as I got to this row, I noticed that broken Elvis statue. Love me tender, love me sweet. Yeah, it was broken into two pieces. Goodwill wanted $7.99 for it. But on eBay, they're going for $100. So even though this was in two pieces, I figured I could still sell it and probably get around 30 for it. I think so. It was a pretty well detailed statue. Goodwill put stuff in bags that they don't think will sell individually. And it's usually garbage. And this all was no exception. It was just full of garbage. When I got to this row, I noticed these drum head covers. They were made by this company, Remo. Goodwill was asking $14.99 for them. There were five of them in this bundle, and online, they go for $20 a piece. The third stop of the day is just filled with musical treasures. I find this bear sitting in a rocking chair, and that turns out to be a music box. And he's adorable. He really is. So you got to see that. And I also find this alarm clock shaped like a jukebox. And it plays oldies music. Yeah, the kind I would like. 
Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Well, the first thing I ran into when I got to this store was this bear sitting on a rocking chair. Goodwill was asking $4.99 for it, and online they go for about $30. But the cool thing about this was it's a music box, and it actually rocks back and forth when you wind it up. About three or four hours later, I came across this action figure from the movie Incredibles. It was priced at only $2.99. It even talked. And online, these go for between $20 and $25. Directly ahead of me, I saw this snowman figure playing golf. Well, it turns out that it's by Russ Berry. Goodwill was asking $4.99 for it. And on eBay, they're getting around 25 for these. I was slowly walking down this aisle when I saw this set of home fragrances. It was by this company body shop. It came with a lamp ring. They were asking $4.99 for it, and they sell for 25 on eBay. I walked over to the aisle where they keep all their brass items because lately I've been having a lot of luck selling anything that's brass. But sadly, today there was nothing here for me. Oh well. I was just getting ready to leave this store when I spotted this jukebox light up alarm clock. It plays six old time classic rock songs. They were asking $6.99 for it. And on eBay, they're getting around $30 for these. I really like this. Wait, don't you go anywhere, because I have one more thing I want to show you. On my way to that last Goodwill, I saw a sign that said garage sale. So I pulled over, and I walked in the lady's garage. Yes, that's what you usually do at a garage sale. You walk in the garage. Okay, keep that thrifting tip to yourselves. Don't go sharing it. Well, while I was there, the lady had a few Xbox games. And, well, they're in the back. I'm going to show them to you. And I'll tell you how much I bought them for. Then, in the comment section, you tell me if you think I made a good purchase. Okay, let me show you. Well, as soon as I got inside this lady's garage, I saw this box of Xbox 360 and Xbox One games. She was asking $2 each for them. There was 81 games. It's $164. So I asked her, how much would you take for all of them? And she said 40 Well, at $40, that was a really good price. So I said yes. I couldn't get the money fast enough out of my wallet. And, well, what do you guys think? Well, everybody, that's it for today. So remember to stay safe out there. And as a second thought, stay even safer out there. Okay, see you next week. Bye-bye.